Hey everybody, welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. I'm going to be doing a review on a um, crochet hook that I recently got. And I'm going to share that with you now. So I went online and I found this on Amazon. And it is a rechargeable lighted crochet hook. Um, it has interchangeable heads also with it so that um, I don't have like a ton of individual hooks to keep, uh, like, you know, like the entire thing to keep track of. So um, I'm looking forward to using this more. I have used it a little bit already and I decided that I wanted to do a review on it and share it with everybody so that everybody could see um, this really awesome uh, crochet hook and the lighting in my house really stinks and so for my projects I was really really needing a crochet hook that was lighted so that I could almost crochet in the dark if I wanted to and um, so far I'm really liking this crochet hook with interchangeable um, heads and so it is it, I'll read the unique features that it states here. It says it's high powered lead lights, high quality precision resin hooks, um, ultra comfort uh, silicone grip handles for extreme comfort. And I must say the handle is very comfortable to hold. And uh, I am actually really, I was really worried about that, whether or not it um, would feel good in my hand and it does. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, it's made of a durable plastic, built to last, it says, a rechargeable um, crochet hook, easy to charge, easy to use, on, off switch. I will show you. So it comes looking like this, um, and then it's got the uh, underneath part here, the, the case is inside this. And so this is what the box looks like, just kind of showing you guys. And uh, it's really kind of cool, so that's what's gonna be inside it comes with a little thing a little a little wrench a little plastic wrench so I'm gonna open this up so that you guys can see it the um, case actually states that it is um, called Yarnis I guess that's how you pronounce it and it's just a basic black uh, case for the um, the yarn the crochet hook which is really kind of cool so I'll just open that up and I'm gonna see if I can actually raise my I'll raise my uh, camera up just a little bit you guys so that you can see a little bit more there we go I'm using my tripod and then on my tripod I have this uh, claw that's claw that's clamped onto my tripod and then the claw part the another claw part hooks onto my camera phone and then it it just kind of floats above so hopefully you guys can see a little bit better um I like that you guys are up a little bit higher so that's good um, man my dog's uh hair gets everywhere <laughs> all right so as you can see I don't have the charger in here right now this is the section right here where the charger goes and right here is the hook now as you can tell the hook isn't fitting in there right now and that is because I have the little hook on this side this is how it came and I don't want to lose that hook because I'm using that for a project right now oh I've got a squeaky chair pardon me <laughs> Okay, so I had to bend down to get my um, charger. So this is the end of the charger right here, and it's a USB charger, so it plugs into any of your charge ports. It doesn't come with um, the part that plugs into the wall or the part that it just comes with the, um, the end that looks like this. I'll use my iPhone end to show you. So it comes with the USB um, port end and then this end right here that plugs into your uh, hook so I picked this wood look and it's made of all it's all plastic it's not real wood but it looks real pretty and then you plug it in like this and when you plug it in 
it lights up blue right here. And this is the on off switch. And um, when it's done charging, the blue light goes off. I used it a little bit more last night, so that's why the blue light came on, which is perfect for this video purpose for the review. And I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it now so that I can use my hands um, up here a little bit more. Um, pardon for the <laughs> squeaky chair. <laughs> um, the uh, hook is awesome just really comfortable to hold in your hand like it fits really nice um it's got a grip right here on the handle it's uh like a rubbery plastic dog hair is everywhere <laughs> and then the on switch is really simple you just push the button and that's the high setting and then that it has a dimmer setting so it's not quite as bright so if the light's bothering your eye you can lower it if you're crocheting in the dark so you don't bother your husband, I guess. <laughs> and then the off. So it's got three, it's got the on, bright, super bright, which is really great, it's so bright. And it lights up the inside of this part here too, and of the wood, so you kind of see the wood grain. And then a little bit lighter, and then off, so three clicks and it's off again, which is really great. And then it comes with this little, um, this little wrench and there's um, notches on the side here that where you put the wrench on and it just clicks on like that and then you twist to the right and it comes right off and it holds it really nice and snug. And I'm going to put this back on my hook in a minute, but the reason why I didn't have this, this, oops, <laughs> I didn't have this in the case all the way down like this is because I had the wrong hook on the end for storing it. Uh, so the smaller hook goes here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna clamp it. And you're gonna find those little wedges, those little, where it'll, where it'll fit and it holds it so that you don't have to worry about holding it. And then you're going to place it on and it, it'll go right into place. So you don't have to really like be tough on it. And then you just kind of twist it to the side. I put it on backwards yesterday and it was facing on the back side. And so like I had the hook facing this way instead of this way. And so it's really easy to take it on and off. So that's the small hook. And when you have the small hook on, I'll, you know what, I'll put it on so that you can see when I'm putting it in. It fits perfect when you have the small hook, interchangeable hook on the um, crochet hook. And so when I don't have it on, I had it stored over. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. And then push that on there like that, turn to the right, lift off take that off and I will store it in the one that I'm, so it doesn't get lost, store it in this one. And then I will attach this one. This is a 5.5. So this is an equivalent to your eye hook, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and push it on there, find those little notches. And you're gonna put it with the hook facing the right side, your right hand gonna place it in there and you're gonna twist to the left and then it's on perfect and then that means the hook is facing up towards the same side the top of the crochet hook and then you just turn it on with the press of a button so easy I wasn't um, accidentally turning it off while I was using it either which was really great and I love this this is perfect for travel super light too, you guys so light won't take up a lot of um, uh, weight in your suitcases if you're traveling. This is excellent. I highly recommend this. Um, you know, if somebody wants me to do a review on any of the other crochet products that are out there, I would be more than happy to do that and or even knitting. So I wanna kinda just demonstrate, you know, for you guys so you guys can see how well 
it works. I had started this project last night <coughs> and it works up so nice and quick. So I um, was, I just did a video too, basically teaching the simple um, how to make like this sort of thing, the scarf. Um, but I just didn't do the entire scarf. I didn't do the entire amount of stitches for this scarf. If you guys are wondering, um, I did 21 chain stitches across and then I skipped the first chain and I single crocheted into the second chain from the hook and then I single crocheted in each chain all the way across to the end here. And then I chained one and then I single crochet across, get to this side, chain one, single crochet across, chain one, single crochet across, and it's just as simple as that. All the way up and you can do this and this is about a five, approximately about five inches across in width for this um, scarf. And then you just crochet the scarf as long as you want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and crochet that now. This is just, I only stated that because there might be somebody wanting to know how I did this. So that is basically the pattern for what I'm doing, super simple. And it crochets so nicely. And I am using a difficult print. So this makes it so easy to see because this is more like, you know, woodsy. It's a type of camo, it's called green camo. Uh, it's a Hobby Lobby brand. I love this yarn. Uh, so if you're liking the color, it's a different camo print. It's not the typical camo colors that you see. And I love it. So this is gonna be for my sister's um, grandson and he's 13. So no frills, no, no pom-poms, no fringes. It's just gonna be a basic manly scarf. So. And it looks great. And this hook, you guys, that's what this whole video is about, is about this hook that I am testing out and that I am using. And it is my new favorite toy. And I, you know, I have very minimal uh, crochet supplies and um, things. So seriously, if anybody is wanting um, to uh, contact me, if they want me to do a review on... Um, a product that you have and get a shout out to your Etsy shop or um, or even a bigger company or anything like that go ahead and contact me uh, through um, Facebook uh, you can contact me through Twitter too my uh, Twitter is uh, Lila Dolce uh, my channel here is Gooseberry Homestead but my Etsy shop is also called Lila Dolce and so I will put a link in the description box to my Etsy shop. Um, it might be easier to contact me through Etsy, to be completely honest. Uh, you'll get a, a much quicker response through Etsy. And uh, because I'm, I lo I'm constantly logged into that account. And so uh, I'm a little bit less on Twitter and the other social medias, but Etsy, I check that pretty regularly. So go ahead and I'll leave a link down below. You guys can contact me through Etsy if you are um, wanting me to do any kind of a product review. If you're wanting to get more recognition for any of your products, I would be more than happy to do that. Um, I'm not by any means like asking for free items or anything like that. It's just, you know, if you're wanting that. So I won't say no. Uh, so anyway, so as you can see, I can see quite well as to what I am doing here. I move a little bit quick and I'll like miss my yarn and that sort of thing, but that's, I think that's pretty normal. Um, I do that with a lot of stuff, but for the most part, um, it could be the way I hold my yarn too uh, over my hand. Uh, I don't crochet like a typical, like the typical books show people how to crochet. I've always had a really hard time holding my, um, yarn the way that they show you in the learn to crochet books so I just did what I did and I went with the way I hold my yarn I my grandmother was teaching me a different way but I just I was having a hard time um, keeping the yarn in my hands and uh, without having to start over every two seconds 
and my momentum would what it would it was just not helping so I just learned to do it th the best way that oops <laughs> my echinacea just fell on the floor <laughs> I'm just trying to um yeah, so anyways, lost my train of thought. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, that's my review on the Yarnsy. As you could see, um, it works really, really well. You can see the project really nice. It really lights up everything really well. And um, I just love this product. Uh, super lightweight. It's less than, less than a pound, you guys. It's like, I'm probably going to guess like maybe... I don't even know how many ounces it is. Honestly, maybe the box tells us. No, nope. no, nope. the box doesn't tell us. So anyways, it's so, so light, like, I think I can hold it with like one finger and it's super light. Anyways, it's great for traveling and so is the hook. The hook's super light too. It almost feels like you're holding air with all of it. It's so super light. So anyways, you guys, thanks so much for watching this video and my review on the Yarnsy um, crochet hook with interchangeable uh, heads. And uh, comment, like, and subscribe, and click that bell button. And as always, have a wonderful day. I just wanted to note, um, I should have noted at the beginning, I am in no way sponsored by Yarnsy. And um, I bought this with my own money and did the review all on my own without any sort of sponsorship. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Um, and I think I probably already said it. Comment, like, and subscribe. Click that bell button. And as always, have a wonderful day. And God bless. Bye.